Welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thanks for joining us. We are joined by Sharon Gilchrist. She is the owner proprietor of One Night Affair, a very unique business concept in West Los Angeles. Tell us about it and then we'll talk about the great things you're doing. Okay, One Night Affair started 25 years ago where we found the need to rent out designer gowns. Um, I worked for different models and had some really outrageous outfits. People would borrow them and send it back smelling of smoke, smelling of, of perfume. So I started charging them for dry cleaning and it turned into a business that just snowballed. So in other words, if we're getting married, if we're going to a black tie affair, we can rent instead of buy. Absolutely. I can tell you my wife spent mm, lots of money on uh, her wedding dress. I bet. And she wore it once. Of course. And uh, of course. so I gotta think business is quite brisk, if I may say. I'm telling you, we are unbelievable because somebody can come in and rent a $10,000 gown and pay a Fraction of the retail cost, give it back Can to I us. Ask how much? I'm actually interested. They go anywhere from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. That's I mean, it's nothing. That's nothing. It's, it's basically what you pay in tax alone if you were going out to purchase a gown. What's nice about what you're doing, in addition to making the people of Los Angeles beautiful on their wedding yes, nights and their absolutely. prom nights and their bat mitzvahs and all those fun things, Academy Awards, exactly Emmys. whatever it is, is you are thinking about the men and women serving our nation. Absolutely. Tell me about Operation Wedding Gown. Well, we started this because we have a tremendous amount of gowns that have to go in and out of our store because we have to have the hottest, latest styles. Oh, of course. So we're and we it's have Los Angeles. Absolutely, and we have thousands of dresses in our store. So we need to pull these out after they've been rented a few times and get the new things in. So we were selling them, and we thought, what a great idea if we can give back to the people who have treated us so wonderful for 25 years, and the, our troops are sitting there serving us, and they're getting paid nothing and so they're having to buy their own uh, equipment and uniforms yes. so why not donate our gowns to them and my kids have been working for operation gratitude which right. is where they pack up boxes and send them over to the troops and they said how sad it is sometimes at Christmas time some of the guys don't get anything from their mm. families so this is how operation gratitude started so everybody gets something so we thought why not let every bride everyone who's getting married who is involved in the in you know taking care of our of country course to get a wedding gown. How do you find your brides? How does the process work? They find if someone's us. someone's <laughs> watching. No, but honestly? Well, they do find us. With Operation Wedding Gown, um, right now it's in the beginning stages. It should be in full swing by Christmas time. Fantastic. We're looking for people to help volunteer, and we're looking for anybody who actually has wedding gowns that they want to donate to contact us. Because even though we have hundreds and thousands of them, you can't imagine the amount of people that have flooded our emails just interested in this. And by the way, the email address is if you want to get involved yes. why don't you say it it is operation we'll say it together operation, operation wedding gown at gmail.com I know you're helping the troops but I have to think somewhere in your heart you're welling up with such pride that you're able to do this talk to me about what it does for it you makes, for your husband who's in the audience yes it makes us feel wonderful because like I said for 25 years this has been the business that has supported us and now we watch these troops coming back and it's just sad you know they're away from their families for so long you see them there it's just the pride that takes over and we feel good about giving back like I said we can sell them we had a website where we would sell all of our gowns we'd pull off but it's so much nicer to be able to help somebody, to do something nice and let them feel good and let those women feel beautiful on their wedding day. Everybody deserves that. Now, I heard a rumor, and I'm shocked to say this, but One Night Affair may turn into a TV show. It, is. it may. It is. I have a strange feeling I'll be watching the, the um, <laughs> can I say shenanigans of, go. what, of what goes on Absolutely. at One Night Affair, which is on Sepulveda just south of Santa, Santa Monica, Monica Boulevard. I'm taking my daughters there. Yes. Can I come? Yeah, yeah by appointment, though. By okay, appointment. I'll call up. Her name is Sharon Gilchrist. We want to thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you thank on you. television. I'm Thanks. Brian Pong. So We're going to send you back to HLN.